Spiral is directed by Darren Lynn Busman and stars Chris Rock, Max Minghella, Samuel L. Jackson, and Marcel Nichols, just to name a few. And it tells a story of a criminal mastermind who unleashes a twisted form of justice in Spiral, the terrifying new chapter from the Book of Saw. So, so, and the Saw franchise. Now, I have seen all of the Saw movies, but to be honest with you, I really felt like they could have, I don't know, wrapped things up after the third one. Um, of granted, they're not going to do that. That's not how horror movies work. As long as there's money to be made, they're going to keep going. And I know there are people out there who love this entire franchise. I enjoyed it. But again, like I said, after the third one, I was pretty much just watching it for watching its sake because I felt like the main story and what I needed from the, that character, John, a.k.a. Jigsaw, I got from that. Fast forward now and we're with Spiral, which is supposed to be almost like a soft reboot of this entire franchise, you know. And I saw the trailer. I had a great look about it, very gritty, grimy kind of look about it. And I was a bit on the fence about Chris Rock, you know, but I was like, I've seen him do some decent stuff in, in television series Fargo, New Jack City. I know he can play serious characters. So let's see where he goes with this. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. This this movie is, this is not good. This movie is not terrible, but geez, talk about a swing and a miss. So let me tell you why, what I liked and what I really didn't like about this movie. I start by, like I was saying before, the movie has a great look, look to it. And the director, of course, he has an old hand with the Saw films. I think he was involved in at least four or five of them, maybe even more. Um, so he knows the world of Saw. And the look here, what I loved, I love the color choices. I love that, that yellow and that green that gave you that really grimy, dirty look to the entire city. It's definitely inspired by films like Seven. You know, you have that look there. But that's okay, you know, because the world of so, um, if you, you know, I know some people call this, those films torture porn, you know, whatever, however you feel about it. It does always have that disgusting, uh, the environment is always gritty and grimy. So to do that to the entire city, in a way, that worked for me. I did like that, you know. Everybody looks hot and uncomfortable and sweaty all the time. Uh, it, it adds to the whole aspect of being in those horrific traps. And another thing I did like here, I didn't think it was the best, but it was definitely solid, the traps. The first one especially, which everybody get got to see because they released it online, um, that was that was just insanely brutal. Um, and the other one that I enjoyed, um, not to give anything away, involved hot wax. And I felt like the traps here definitely upped the brutality factor of these traps, you know. Uh, these things that are supposed to be escapable, but let's face it, you would probably die of shock or blood loss if you escaped most of them in real life you know so i did think that they, they did a good job of really making these traps feel as brutal as they are you know as brutal as they would be the squirm factor was there the cringe factor was there with these traps so good on them um as for the the acting and the characters i mean i think everybody was giving it what they could, giving it however invested they were, you know, I'm trying not to give anything away because I'm going to get into some bad here. I felt like they were trying. I really did, you know. Um, like I said before, this, this movie felt like it was definitely using Seven as a blueprint and even the usual suspects, you know, there was something there that, that made me feel like I was watching that as well. So that's the stuff that worked here for me. I, I felt like you definitely saw the connection to Saw. You definitely saw that they were trying to do their own thing, but at the same time, respect the core material in the sense that this is being inspired by what Jigsaw did, you know? 
this is i don't know how many years have passed here but you know this is the inspiration so that stuff worked for me what didn't work for me is the everything else is the just oh my god this was so it just it started off strong it really did that first trap that the look of it everything and it just goes off the track into it's intentionally hilarious as one and it's just so mediocre in terms of figuring out everything else that's going on here i'll start with uh touching on chris rock now i don't think he meant to come across hilarious but i could not stop laughing at his facial expressions his he kept trying to look like tough or like this worn out detective everybody hates me but i'm a good guy and i'm gonna do the right thing no matter what and he's there and he's like oh his face is all scrunched up and i just can't stop laughing guys i'm watching it and i i almost did a spit take at one point in time it's, it was just i'm sorry it just it was just ridiculous and i could not stop seeing chris rock the comedian and and let go of that aspect because he was doing that you know unintentional as it probably was on his part he just made me laugh because it is like a puppy trying to be a full-grown rottweiler and it just it just did not work for me he did not fit this role properly i'm sorry he just doesn't they even have samuel L. jackson in this movie sam jackson is in this movie and he never gets to sam jackson you know there's like a little little tiny moment of it and it's gone he's barely here guys and i was like what the seriously how do you have samuel l jackson in a movie such as this and not do something more with the character he's so subdued in this you it's hard to believe that's who that was you know we also have the mystery here of who's behind it all and when i say you are gonna figure this out the moment that person steps on screen i am not exaggerating if you don't figure this out i don't know maybe thrillers mysteries aren't your thing you know maybe you don't really dig that deep but you don't even have to dig i felt like this guy had a banner over his head that said it's me i'm the guy it was so easy to figure out even when they tried to throw a red herring in there i was like really really you expect me to fall for that it's that guy and you know what that was the guy so everything that came after everything that was happening it was just me going through the motions waiting for them to be like it's the guy you know if you, if you're a rick and morty fan it's like the episode when they go to uh Fuf Fufi Land. <laughs> and um the guy is all monologuing about what he did to survive there and they, they already know it's just like that you're just bored you're just standing there and he's there monologuing about his plan his brilliant plan and i'm just there like yeah okay i know i know okay i know just let's just get to the next scene so that just brought this down to supreme mediocrity for me because if it's one thing with the earlier Saw films is that you didn't know, you absolutely didn't know who was behind what, you know, and yeah, as it went along, they just gave up the pretense, which I actually liked. I like the, I think there's one where you already know who the killer is long beforehand and you're following, watching him outsmart the police and figure a way out of him trying to escape them chasing him kind of thing i felt like they could have done that here why not reveal that this guy was behind it all from the jump and then show us him manipulating everything and show us chris getting closer and closer to figuring it out you know i that could work i've seen that done before you know think of the television series hannibal with the awesome awesome mads mickelson right think of how well that was done you know and you could have done the, something like that here 
and it would have been so much more effective than us like oh who is it who's behind it and it's so easy to figure out it's so in your face that that is the guy that is not funny it's not even funny so spiral gets points for visualization i give them points for trying something but that's about it this if this is their reboot in trinidad uh, well it's more like a jamaican saying that we've we picked up we'll and come again this this is not it this is not your reboot you need to try again spiral gets a four and a half out of ten and that's it for this one guys so let me know what you thought of spiral if you've seen it did you think it was great did you think it's a great addition and why you know what about it sold it for you you know sometimes people tell me no i thought this was great because and I, I i do see their point i do see what they're talking about you know and i could go back and watch something and be like you know what yeah yeah i could give the movie an additional point for that so let me know what you thought of spiral and if you enjoyed this video please feel free to hit that thumbs up button it's always appreciated if you're new and you'd like to subscribe to my channel you can click on my face when it pops up right about there and of course if you want to check out past reviews so until the next one guys bye bye